Hey, it's Ken from Get English Tips here. Welcome along. Have you heard of this word before? Scaremongering. 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 Four syllables. Have you heard of it before? Let's have a look. Scaremongering we use, very, very common in English, and we use it to describe the act of someone spreading, you know, exaggerated or unfounded fears or anxieties just to influence public opinion or behaviour. So they're making people afraid, they're saying things to make people afraid, but they're, you know, they, what they're saying is exaggerated. There's no foundation for them saying that. They're, they're in Implying that there are scare tactics so that people start panicking or they are anxious about what's going to happen. Scaremongering. So if someone's scaremongering, they're trying to cause panic and anxiety with public. We use it to describe situations where someone is deliberately spreading messages that are going to cause alarm so that they can manipulate others so they can achieve their goal or their social goal or political goal. So they're causing people to be really scared. We can also use it to describe situations where the media in particular or other institutions are sensationalizing reports or engaging in sensationalizing reports and playing up exaggerated fears or anxiety. Basically, if the media do it, they are they are making headlines to create panic among amongst the population. They are scaremongering the population. So as an example, the government's warnings about immigration were seen by many as scaremongering designed to influence the outcome of the election. So the government's warnings about immigration, they were making the public scared and nervous and anxious about immigration, and they want to influence the public and manipulate the public. They are scaremongering the public. So the government's warnings about immigration were seen as scaremongering, designed to influence the outcome of an election. Another example might be the newspaper's headline about a killer virus was seen as scaremongering and was criticised for creating unnecessary panic. So the newspaper had a headline about a virus, Ebola for example, that was seen as scaremongering. They, they wanted to create panic in the population. Another example might be some critics have accused the environmental movement of engaging in scaremongering about the dangers of climate change. Some people are saying that, you know, climate change, global warming is just scaremongering people. They are creating panic amongst people. Scaremongering. So what... Kind of what other expressions can we use for scaremongering? Well, we've got fear-mongering, panic-mongering, alarmism. You can see the word mongering here. We've got war-mongering, fear-mongering, panic-mongering. We are trying to create fear. We're trying to create panic. We're trying to create war with war-mongering. But scaremongering specifically implies a deliberate attempt to spread fear fear and anxiety for political or to manipulate people. This is scaremongering. The opposite of scaremongering might be someone who is offering, you know, a balanced or measured perspective on an issue or someone who is trying to reassure others to reduce fear and anxiety. So that would be the opposite of scaremongering. So scaremongering in a nutshell is people exaggerating claims 
to create panic in and in amongst the population. They are making people scared and anxious and nervous because they have a particular goal that they want to achieve, especially with newspapers and politicians. Generally, they, w- they are the ones that will be scaremongering. Scaremongering. Good, good word for maybe intermediate or you know, upper intermediate students to start using. So let's see if you can use an example with scaremongering. Head along to the Get English Tips community on Facebook and you can leave your example in there or you can leave it in the comments here. Or if you want to, you can upload a video and practice your speaking using the the phrase or the expression to scaremonger. So there we go, scaremongering. So let's see if you can start using it. It would be great if you could. If you have any questions, then please feel free to get in touch with me at getenglishtips.com. Here's all the socials here on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, Get English Tips. And my name's Ken, and hopefully I'll see you on the next lesson. Bye for now.